So guys, today we're going to be doing another awesome knife review. And today the review is going to be on the Topps Tahoma Field Knife. And, and as always guys, before we get started with this review and roll in of field use, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome reviews like this and just more awesome Alaskan content. Okay, let's get into this. I mentioned, like I was saying, this is the Topps TFK Tahoma Field Knife, and to start off, I'm going to be talking about the things that I really did enjoy about this knife over the past several months, and I think the primary thing I really enjoyed about this knife was the ergonomics. I think the ergonomics on this knife are really great, and of course, like with any, this is more of like a one tool option kind of knife, at least in my mind, and kind of how it was not necessarily marketed, but in a way how it's supposed to be used. It's supposed to be more of a one tool option, a lot like the Buck Thug, and I would say both with the Buck Thug and with this knife, uh, the ergonomics are very well, regardless to whether you're in a very choked up stance, more like this, for fine tasks such as feather sticking, or if you're in just more of a moderate stance like this, just for doing general purpose work, or if you're back on the knife uh, like this for chopping. And I think what I do like about this knife a little bit more than something like the Buck Thug is I found that in the back chopping kind of position, there's a lot more room for my hand and in addition, it's been kind of swept, as you guys can see here, swept up so that when you chop, it puts your hand in an easier motion for chopping. So I've really enjoyed the ergonomics on this knife. It has a really good feel. The micarta grips, just like on the Topps Fieldcraft and many of the other micarta gripped uh, Topps knives, is just fantastic. I find the grip to be more than adequate. This is actually really how I prefer my micarta to be done. There's a lot of different knife makers. I love to pick on Bark River, but most uh, knife makers who use micarta, they end up polishing it and it looks really pretty in pictures. It looks really pretty in pictures and online and you know when you have it like hanging up or when you're just like admiring the tool, it looks really pretty, but it actually is not that effective. So back to the TFK, I really like it. I will say one thing that I think is kind of just more of a marketing ploy is this uh, bow drill divot and I really have never used a bow drill divot, not even in the Topps Fieldcraft where it is more usable, primarily because it just wears the handles out really fast. And for me, generally, I'm actually bringing a bearing block specifically. I guess this could be nice if you had nothing else to use but this, but do keep in mind because this is my Carta, this will pretty much destroy this area over time if you continue to use this as a bearing block. Anyways, aside from that, another thing I really did enjoy about the knife was the chop chopping of this knife. I think it's a really heavy weighted knife, uh, certainly heavier than something like a buck thug. And so the chopping, as you guys can see, I'll be trying to roll in the chopping with this knife. It's very well, especially being the fact that this is a very flat edge. You guys can see how there's really no uh, recurve or any area of the blade kind of sticking out. It's just a very flat edge. And so for this, it actually is a very good chopper. And like I said, the weighting is very nice on it. So aside from that, now getting to the things that I dislike. And there are quite a few things. So the first thing I moderately dislike, and I'm going to be going from like things I dislike the least to the things I dislike the most. But the first thing, the thing that I dislike probably the least, it's because in some circumstances I like it, but in most circumstances I don't, is this sharpened double edge. It is, it has some advantages, but overall, especially for what it was being talked up as, like being a secondary or backup edge, it's just not truly factual. I mean, it is factual, but it's not very useful, especially if you're trying to dress a game animal. This is way more knife than really you should be dressing a game animal with unless it's like a dire emergency. You absolutely have to. So for that, I don't, I mean, you can do it, but it would be very difficult to do. And so I don't really need a doubled edge for that. And overall, I find this double edge just getting in the way more than I don't. And one of the big things that kind of struck me with this knife is 
that this edge is so long it's like eight and a half inches of steel here but a good you know two and a half inches of that steel is pretty much effectively non-existent for batoning because of this edge and like I said one of the primary reasons why you carry a chopper is to baton with it and so that you could have a large blade span to baton with and so I feel like this sharpened edge really hurts the baton ability of the knife because what you have to do is you have to end up hitting on the back of this knife so that means that this this side has to be kind of sunk into the blade or into the wood and then you have to hit on this back that kind of limits how much wood or how large you can span of a piece of wood it also it also limits the effectiveness because when you hit on the back of the knife as opposed to the front uh, it's just not as effective of a batoning method so for me i personally dislike this and once again trying to do fine tasks with the tip which i do actually like the fineness of this tip but it's a little bit more difficult because you obviously can't really put your fingers back here due to the sharpened edge so i really have found it struggling to do fine tasks with the very tip so the other thing and i think the secondary reason why it actually hurts this sharpened piece is this really just completely dumb in my opinion completely useless sharpened piece of metal it was designed like a notch or pot you know you can grab pots out of the fire and do like these multi-purpose ones again a lot more hype kind of stuff but this thing in my opinion well done effectively and i would say to all those knives that have like sharpened saw back knives they actually need to take a lesson from this because this is how you do it but at the same time having a sharpened back like this is very annoying frustrating and useless because you have a very limited area right here where you can't actually put your thumb and what i found was oftentimes when i was trying to do fine tasks where i was moving up around the tip what i would find is as i would cut this little thing would come back and hit my hand this little sharpened area and this thing is very sharp and so it would end up either cutting me or just hurt me a lot and it'd be insanely uncomfortable to actually use this knife in a choked up position just because of this little hole sharpened wire cutter thing that once again is just really more hype than it is useful and so I really do not like this piece at all so now onto the thing I really can't stand about this knife at all and just as a funny kind of thing I actually rolled it and I'll roll it the picture here or not picture but uh, the video here or I just drew Alaska because I just decided to get creative but the thing I really don't like about this knife most and it's very peculiar uh, I, I really don't know why this coating was made this way, but this knife has an insanely weak coating on the blade. And like I said, I'm not sure why that is, but this coating is so weak that I'm not talking about an area that's already been hit or hurt, but you can legitimately take like a piece of this coated steel and scratch the coating off with your thumb and like you're just really with your fingernail and it doesn't even it takes legitimately that much to scratch the coating off of this knife and so for me i thought that was extremely ridiculous because oftentimes we give knives that have like cheap chinese like spray paint you know coatings a really hard time but this thing has an even weaker knife coating or blade coating so that is my absolute just can't stand part about this knife and i think that the coating i don't know why it was done that way because for me the point like why even coat the knife if it's going to come off that easily so anyways that is what i really couldn't stand about it aside from the other things that i dislike about it you guys could still see that this knife was quite multifunctional, and i think one of the big things about knives but with one tool options they're kind of something that you have to get yourself and see if your type of mindset or philosophy of use matches the philosophy of use behind the one tool option that you got and so for something like the buck thug my mentality and the mindset of me using a one tool option match that knife really closely so for me i really enjoyed using as a one tool option or like a one knife to do it all kind of knife 
uh, the buck thug worked really well for me. It had a very fine tip for fine tasks. It had a reasonably large blade, about an inch shorter than this one, and so I could still do batoning very well, and it could do chopping quite well because it was set up for it. Whereas this knife, I think it could definitely do a lot of what I wanted, but there were certain aspects, especially things like fine skills and fine tasks, that this knife just could not do. And overall, my philosophy use on a one tool option just did not match this knife. And so overall, I did not end up loving this knife as much as I thought I would, but it certainly has a place. And I think once again, if you can integrate this type of you know, sharpened upper edge into your system, it would work really well. However, I will say the one thing that I think most people will not like is this really trashy coating. And secondly, this sheath, or not sheath, this uh, little thing area right here that has these two cuts and it's like sharpened piece of steel. Don't like that at all, and I don't think most people will. I also want to talk about the sheath and this is kind of funny I think that this is my most favorite hated sheath and what I mean by that is that this knight or this sheath is really not that good I really don't like it but however I do really like it in one capacity and I thought it was smart of tops to do this with this knife and that is that this knife is already pretty expensive and being what it is, the fact that it has so many intricate little like holes and cuts and divots and a sharpened upper edge, this knife has a is already naturally quite expensive. So what I like that Topps did was they provided a sheath that is high quality enough that you could technically use this sheath. It would work, but at the same time, it's a rather cheap sheath, so it keeps the price way down on the knife that's already expensive. And so what I like about this is if this is really the tool you want to go for, it allows you to get this knife at around $150, $160, and then when you have enough money to actually go for, spring for a Kydex sheath, because there's a lot of people who make Kydex sheaths for the TFK, and so it allows you to get the knife early on so you can start using it, having fun with it, and then when you're ready or you have the money to spring forward to get the Kydex sheath, which I think a Kydex sheath for this suits it a lot better than this particular sheath here. But once again, this sheath is sufficient to work until you have something like a Kydex sheath. So like I said, I really dislike this sheath, but at the same time, I do like the fact that with this sheath, it keeps costs down so that you can get the knife sooner. And so I thought that was an effective mindset by Tops, and I really did like that. So guys, that's my thoughts on the TFK by Tops. It is a really good knife in my opinion. I think it, it has a lot of potential for some people and some people's circumstances. Once again, I think it would be more effective for them. But for me personally, I just could not find a whole lot of usefulness for it. And once again, that sharpened upper edge, that one little like contraption, did not like at all. And I thought really hindered the knife more than helping it and what I personally set out to use one tool options or chopper type knives for uh, is primarily batoning and chopping and doing fine tasks when necessary and this really was hindered in those areas. So anyways guys that's all for now. Those are my thoughts on this knife. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and as always guys I'm out.